Welcome back. We are us and this. This is the land where hope goes to die. This. This is the Eingard. Uh, the God. However you prefer to pronounce it. So ahead of us we have nothing but combat. So let's just choose one and move this along. It's y you, the ones who killed the Eric. How would you know that? There were no witnesses. I. What? Was there someone who was just watching and didn't try to help him? I mean, uh, uh, Yarek, who? You killed the Imperial Breathtaker. Don't you dare deny it. I still don't understand how... how anyone would have known. You aren't passing... you aren't passing this bridge, scum. You're coming with us to the Baroness. The hardware guards ready their weapons. It's, there's only a 27% chance to succeed at fleeing. Thank goodness we didn't come to run away. The hard watch leader almost looks pleased with your reaction. Your way then, scum. We really don't need the extra bit. I just want to say. We really don't need the extra bit where the narrator says nothing, but there's ellipses, and then that means I need to click an extra time. The narrator part doesn't need to be there. Just have it your way, scum, straight into the fight. It's not that big of a deal, but it's annoying. So, we have status effects now. <clears throat> and the example they show is crowded. This character has four or more nearby units and deals half damage. During your adventure, You'll encounter various status effects, stun, frost, crowded, and ground and control ground, among others. Always hover over the status effect icon below the character portraits to find out what each status effect does. Okay. Why is one of the enemies already next to us? This is baffling. Well, we always want to start with a good burn, because they'll be feeling that one over time. Let's see. Great, I can't even move the freaking skill either. There we go. Ooh. That was some good burn. Unfortunately. Yeah. Thankfully it's not fire. Burn is actually a monster of a... Is actually a monster of a status effect. Yeah, that was good. It was real good. Oh, so apparently you can consume these to gain an extra action. I learned that from this screen. See? Oh, you can't see my mouse. Hmm. Anyway. I'm debating reactivating the mouse. 
I don't want to though. Anyway, this screen is full of some pretty good information. Where was I? Right, killing this guy. He dies his next turn. So we don't need to worry about him anymore. Hmm. You're tender. Oh, this guy's the commander. Well, now he's on fire, too. Good, she didn't get hit too hard. Questionable at best. Fire it is. Fire, please. Please. Really? That doesn't make sense. She fired one at me diagonally. Why can't I hit her? Almost accidentally ended this guy's turn early. Valuables. Ooh, goody, 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 goody. Let's see. Hamlin is apparently supposed to be our tank. So it gives him extra health and dodge. That's good. Yeah, I think that'll do. So from here, we can have another fight or an encounter. Hamlin, Hamlin is still hurting from that last fight, but he's also just a smidge tankier than he was before. So, oh, hold on, there's another level. Uh... 
Let's see. Ability, special effect chance. Do we want intelligence for him? Give us armor. Let's go with ancestry. It doesn't seem... Well, the point's already spent. So if you increase your survivability, you tank your initiative. And if you're going to make someone go for a crit build with someone, then you need intelligence. Huh. Is there no way to get that initiative back? So now Hamlin has 0.5 armor. Ooh. Oh, the shield came with hard, <clears throat> hard restrict. farmer. We found you. You aren't passing this bridge. Since everyone seems to know when anyone dies. Did you see what I did to those guys back there? Do you really think you can stop me with your pitchforks and your dresses? Surely not. When you killed the breathtaker, the heart watch kicked in our doors. Ah, uh, I see what your problem is. You're jealous. You're jealous. Okay. You're jealous you couldn't stop them from kicking in your doors like they tried to kick, like I stopped them from kicking in mine. I see. I see. Well, let me show you just how I did to them what exactly I did to them. They raided our homes and hurt our families. You'll die for this, criminal. Well, you started it, and I'm going to finish it. We'll be the ones who decide where we pass, not you. Fine. Let's show these brigands what three of us can do. See, there was that little bit with the narrator again. I don't... that doesn't need to be. Now, normally, we would want to start off... What the frick? Normally, we want to start off with a fire attack, but since there are two delicious targets just standing on the same cell... I thought two of them were burning. It was the weirdest thing. This one needs to not move anymore. Wow. 
ับว่าโอ้ no they're abusing the tank Go anywhere, can you? Nope. Oh, all according to plan. Oh. Bye. Oh, what a shame. Can I get these back? Since we're going to ignore her for the most part. Anything to keep people off of the spellcaster. some potions or something oh look they're sharing sharing the same cell again shouldn't have done that all right let's put an end to this <sighs> so I have to choose one or the other Does talent do? Hmm. Ability special effect chance per point. Hmm. I think the armor is better for Anastas. Anastas. It appears. Main quest in progress. During your travels, you'll find main quest encounters randomly. Complete them all to reach the gates of silence, the finale of Act One. Oh, I quite literally can't ignore it. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. After a long day of traveling, You finally arrive at the hidden home of the Heartland Elder. So you're the ones who the Heartwatch is so vigorously hunting. You're in a great heap of chil trouble, children. We, we got a letter from the pits of Yangard, though. And the Elder looks at you with genuine concern in his eyes. You get the impression he wasn't surprised by the letter. How is that possible? No one can pass through the gates of silence. Very few of us have. Only those who gain the necessary skills and unlock their innate power may pass. An adventurer? That very thing, yes. But we don't have any powers. But Falira still hunts us. The warm fire seems strangely cold. What should we do? You'll need to find help. The unspoken of Yangard knows what will happen if they fail to stop you. They'll make sure Falira is hunting you day and night. She'll be growing mightier each day of her pursuit. To stop you. Stop us from doing what? From becoming the one thing they fear. Adventurers. The letters say we must find the church? <sighs> the church of the fourth well. The hermit nods enthusiastically. The hidden faith of the Heartlands. A glimmer of hope and glory shines from the corner of the old hermit's eye. 
His doctor said there's no cure for it. The church will help you. How do we find them? Go north. Further. Seek their chapel bearing the statue of Heliana. Find it and utter the hymn of Heliana. And utter the hymn of Heliana. The man's voice becomes reverent as he chants. Under darkened skies and holy stone, the All Mother Heliana is the bulwark of heart and men. You seek the church and utter the hymn. They'll help you find the ancestral power that you were born to wield. Oh, whoa, whoa! Ancestral power? The elder smiles at you warmly, almost like you're a little, stupid little baby that doesn't understand anything. The ancestral abilities found within the heart of us all. If unleashed, it is the weapons and powers of an adventurer. It's not my place to teach it. Seek the church. Thank you, elder. No matter. It is the mandate of us elders to guide those who seek the All-Mother. The elder seems thoughtful for a moment as if remembering something. Ah, before you leave, I have something that may be of use to you. As an aged heartlander, I don't really need it anymore. Hmm. Cold. The only source of progress is icy cold, rational decision making. Fiery passion triumphs over all. Let your heart guide you. Hmm. Sure, let's go with Fiery for Amber. You take the bundle from the altar. All Heartland is a family, Grandfather. Yes. Thank you for helping us. The hermit nods and smiles. A journey onwards, children of the Heartlands. Save your home. We will. For the family. I was going to try and slide in a uh, Godfather reference. I just, I, I really wanted it, but I couldn't, I couldn't think of anything that would fit the moment. May the five of you, may the five keep your hearts pure. Trinkets are rare pieces of equipment. Uh, <clears throat> Trinkets are rare pieces of equipment granting two perks. One blessing, and one curse. So, what do you have for us, little forbidden gem? Trinket of Strength of Mind. Strength of Mind. Gain 12% creativity, increasing the chance of triggering ability special effects. Curse, you have negative 5% critical chance, which I can negate by just specking into talent a couple of times. Gain 2% at the start. Okay, this is a different trinket. Warmed. Gain 2% start of turn fortitude regen while affected by frost. That's dumb. No. We'll go with this one to Anastas. Hmm. Let's go with an encounter this time since we skipped one. Uh, why do you 
you people insist on being this way. Now, there they are. Charge! Suddenly a group of Heartlanders... <clears throat> Suddenly a group of Heartlands farmers swarms around you, emerging from this roadsides. Each farmer wears an expression of restlessness and excitement, with the leader reaching down to draw a corroded Imperial Blade. There you are. Word among the folk is that the Black Cow put a bounty on your head. Clean gold for mangled bodies, they said. Works for us, I suppose. Throw down your packs and we'll take a trip spire away. Van grims derisively, holding a pair of shackles. Meanwhile, his allies hold their makeshift weapons. Menacingly. Let's see. Naturally. Oh, so salt. Ooh. Oh, this speaks to me, but it's got a really low success chance. Ooh. I do like the intimidate. Be still my beating heart. But let's check the chances everyone has. Since he's got higher toughness, this is more up his alley. So the points, the points I put into this specific stat affect the success chance of cards that feature this. Oh, you can't see my god dang mouse. Well, let's see if I can fix that. Ah, uh, no source selected. This. Oh, I don't need to do that. I can just go like this. And ta-da! So, as I was saying, Bol Boltulf has this stat, but not as high as Hamlin does. Boltulf has this stat that's higher, but I haven't really started investing into crit for him because, well, we're still using trash as weapons. Except for Anastas, that's a different... She has a weird wand thing, so there's that. Anyway, from this fight, we're unlikely to get very good loot, so... Ooh. Ooh. Intimidating plus 25%. I am never afraid to do what is necessary for the greater good. How is this skill kindness when... Oh. Then why is it called so salt? It should be called soothe or something. But these people came to me trying to make a quick buck off of my head when I've done nothing wrong, per se. Let's get tough. Success. Hey, you really took down one of them breathtakers? His name was Yarek, and he was nothing to us. A wave of emotion washes over the group, with a few even taking a step backwards. Hey boss, maybe we should just let them go. Black Cow's coin is great and all, but it ain't worth dying over. Ah, you cowards. Fine, go. I suppose it's more trouble than it's worth. That's right. How was that honest? Oh, because I actually... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. We also gained this skill, Observant. As the outcast, I do not need anyone else to survive. Excels at searching and finding tasks. Ooh, a swanky. All right. Huh. What is this? in a small town and wouldn't it be the central heartlands I guess though would make it like a proper place rather than just a location in the main place 
Also, Hamlin's still feeling the hurt, so we're probably better off not engaging in combat anytime soon. Though if we stop at an end, the enemies only get stronger, so uh, what do I do? Anyway, walking up the road, you feel a presence, as if someone is watching you. Do you feel that? It's, it's as if someone is watching us. I see the church ahead. Let's go. As you approach the church, you are met by a woman dressed in aged robes. Greetings, dear Heartlanders. The Heartlander Elder told us to seek you. We have... She cuts you off. Dear travelers, what can a humble healer do for you on this day? The Hymn of Heliana that the Heartlander Elder told us to remember. In a low but reverent voice, you attempt to recite the hymn of Heliana. Under darkened skies and holy stone, the old mother Heliana is the bulwark of the heart and men. The priestess smiles. So she is. I am glad you found us. It's been too many years since the last adventurers appeared. Come with me. We must begin. We have too little time. She gestures toward her side to an ancient stone crypt standing between the houses. We never know when the Inquisition or the Heart Watch has us within sight. Now, repeat her hymn. The heavy stone door rumbles as it opens revealing a hidden path into the crypt. Let us head down. Your true selves will soon emerge. The heavy trapdoor creaks as you open it. You head deep into the darkness below. Once upon a time, long ago, we had adventurers in the world. Adventurers explored new lands, fought the wicked, and protected the innocent achieving their destiny until they took control the unspoken these unspoken who are they the priestess looks to you pausing for a moment they are the immortal rulers of the atonic empire including the hardlands the God King seized control of the world and founded the Council of Fourteen. They wanted to rule, to control, to oppress, all from the dark citadel of Yangar. They, eradic they eradicated all faith, slayed the adventurers, removed all hope. Each one of us holds a power within us, a connection. The God King wanted his empire to be eternal. He gave his life to ensure that. After his sacrifice, his counsel, the unspoken, gained immortality. But they still fear the return of adventurers. They do. To this day. That is why you must become adventurers. Right here, right now. How do we become adventurers? Through your ancestry. Your eyes fixate on the statue looming above you. The Atonic Empire has tried to eradicate this knowledge. Just as they tried to eradicate our faith in the Five. Look upon our mother, Heliana, goddess of mankind. You feel something stirring in your loins as the statue begins to glow with ancestral power. Heliana, all mother of the Heartlands. These three souls seek their awakening, the power within their heart and arm feel it, a warm energy spread throughout your body. Mm. Embrace your ancestry, children of Heliana. Don the mantle of adventures which you were born to carry. We will. The dark, the sacred fires from the statue illuminate the dark crypt, warming both your body and spirit. You feel empowered, revived with a newfound potential. 
ancestral, filled with purpose, destined. I think that we have heard enough. Our watch captain stands at the entrance blocking your way up. Even worse, behind him stand two vein blades, mercenaries of the most lethal sort. Oh, by the five we've been detected. So this is where you heretics hide from the law. We'll quell all this heresy in due time. For now, we must execute these traitors. By your command, Captain. The priest is clearly terrified, whispers to you. You wield the ancestral powers you were born to use. Use them. Protect us. Please. Ooh, yeah, we could use some healing. Give them valuables. You offer the artifact to the statue of Heliana, the mother of the Heartlands. Please take this gift and bless us in our future combats. Warmth, power, ancestry. What the? Foul sorcery in our land, how dare you? By the Baroness, vain blades slay these heretics. <laughs> Everyone's health was restored. That's good. Very good. <clears throat> you move two, you move, you move three, you move three cells. I saw that. That's one. That was two. Okay. <clears throat> you have unlocked class abilities. Each combination of weapons will grant you the unique ability of your class. Oh, okay. Martial weapons, shields, rogue weapons, wand, artistry, and ancestry weapons. Each combination of two weapon types represents one of 22 classes. So if you equip artistry, an artistry item, and a rogue item, you get a scoundrel. Equip two ancestry items, you get a warlock. Nice. Fat good that information does me right now, though, since I can't change equipment. This guy is giving them fortitude every new turn. But I don't want to leave them alive either. This one can be killed really quickly. Hey, since they're all on a... Well, I mean, this seems like a good idea to cast because it's new and shiny. But it only deals 8 to 9 damage to a single enemy within range. But it always critical strikes. But it has to target an enemy with both burning and frost. We don't have any of those. Emberborn. Permanent. Wait, hold on. What? Consumes burning from both themselves and their target on hit, dealing damage for each burning consumed. Oh, that's not good. So we can't even use fire here, much less crescendo as a result. Okay. Just tickle everyone, I guess. Because that's all we've got now. Final Conquest. Deal 10 to 13 damage to all enemies within this tile and control ground. You must be below 71 HP. 
What is with the conditions on these? I guess they're sort of like ultimate abilities, I guess, so it sort of makes sense. You first. Oh, I have to be in the same cell. Then let's focus. Great. Yep, yeah, that one's predictable. But the idiot ran into the cell that I wanted her in. Why is no one attacking the tank? Just attack the tank. That's why he's there. Okay. I guess that's how it's going to be. And I can't set her on fire or anything. Good God. We're going to lose this. Yeah, we're going to lose because we have no... What if we do this? Nope, the con the route didn't take. I really don't like him being right there next to this guy because he's squishy. There we go. The way this thing chooses to attack or target us makes no logical sense. At first it looks like they're just going to focus the person with the lowest health, who is technically her. As well, got nothing else going on. What 
if we lock her down? for 14. Well, I know what I'm investing in for our spellcaster. My apologies. For our resident spellcaster. Uh, he's below... Ooh, perfect. Now, what is control ground? Reaction attacks enemies for 100% of weapon power if they move in or out of a controlled tile for only one turn. But I can keep using this, so... Forever? Just move over here. Crunch. And she crit too. Could have used that earlier. Can we please? God dang it. I'm not a fan of this where I have to choose one or the other. A <laughs> murder. Well, I guess we have to go with the knife. It goes to Boltulf the Strong. Boltulf the Strong. Now he can murder. Why did we... We only got one thing and we killed three people who weren't weak. We should have been able to get more out of that. Anyway. After exiting the crypt, you find yourself at the end of a road. More of them will come seeking us in time. We must leave quickly. Ah, uh, you know you can't fight them off, right? You were cowering down there, so you clearly can't. The Atonic Empire has been hunting the Church of the Fourth Well for a thousand years. This is not the hour we fall. Focus on your own journey. We'll continue to... We'll continue our work in secret. We are more concerned with guiding our adventurers. You must go. Go where? You're wielding the blessing of the five. You will go where your destiny takes you. Toward the gates of silence. Priestess. No heartlander has ever passed through the gates of silence. The priestess smiles faintly. Then, my beloved adventurers, you haven't been paying attention. For the first time in your life, you wield the ancestral power you are born to carry. For the first time in your life, you can create your own destiny. For the first time in your life, you are in control, not the unspoken. A gust of wind brushes the water's surface, carrying the scent of salt with it. Then what is our next step? The map you've been given, it will guide you to the passage of silence. It's the only way to the gates and to Falira. But the gates of silence can't be breached. Everyone knows that. Indeed. The gates and its walls were built by the unspoken sculptor themselves. But... The priestess pauses. You are carrying the blessing of Heliana, unchaining the ancestral power you were born with. To triumph at the gates of silence, you require an additional blessing. Heliana is the source of life and ancestry. Hey, however, 
hangs in the air. Pry of vigilance and preparation is the force you will need to pass through the gates. You must seek his blessing. Only then will you stand a chance after crossing the passage of silence. Where can we find this blessing? There is an ancient shrine once called the Pinnacle of Preparation. Now it's an outpost for the Black Cow. The Pinnacle of Preparation it is then. The priestess smiles warmly. It has been too long since we had adventures, since we had real hope. Maybe the five, may the five bless your passage, saviors of the heartlands. Hmm. Uh, it really doesn't make sense to go with the pagan option. I wonder if the trinkets are different for that one. Or if you get the same trinkets either way. Regardless, I don't think... It doesn't make sense to go with the pagan option because, like... It's kind of obvious that... The five... At least one of the five exists. Heliana? Obviously. Otherwise, what would, what would we have done without the blessing, you know? So, we have to go with Faithful. The question is, who? Power and Ancestry. Seems more like a bolt of thing to me. What is this? But if we have Botolf choose this, then we don't get... Then he's exhausted and we can't go into another fight. May the five bless your path in the days to come. The priestess nods meaningfully, gesturing for you to begin your journey. May your path towards the fourth well take you to the extraordinary adventurers. When you find the pinnacle, remember the hymn of pride. Ever prepared, ever vigilant, for war and despair comes for those who are not ready. With guiding, with Eliana guiding our way, it will. You continue on your path towards the black cowl and the blessing of pride. Okay, so we have the trinket enforcing the storm. Whenever you deal damage to a stormed target, deal 20% more damage, which is guaranteed to critical strike. Oh, wait, I don't understand. Is the attack itself going to do, going to be a critical strike or is just the additional damage going to crit. When you deal damage, deal more damage, which is guaranteed to crit. I think that's what's going on here. Unfortunately, at the start of combat, you become stormed. As a result of that trinket, destined for conquest, at the start of the turn, if you are controlling ground, 
gain destiny at the end of the turn my mistake which only works for our tank Hamlin I could not remember his name for the life of me I'm a bolt wolf main okay so Boltos easiest to remember, then there's Anastas, because I'm not entirely sure that's how her name is supposed to be pronounced. And then there's Hamlin, who I guess his name is just sort of boring. Well Crest Sworn is pretty cool. Anyway. Ooh, that is a terrible curse though. You have disadvantage to critical strike, and that means you roll twice and use the worst roll. Good God, that is terrible. This is easily the better trinket. Um. Well, hold on. Actually, now that I think about it, my assessment of this may have been a little rash. Because this trinket is naturally for Hamlin, who gets controlled ground through his uh, Final Conquest skill. Below 70% HP. Hmm. Anyway. So, with his conquest skill, he gets controlling ground for free. Which means he can attack twice on his turns. So, you technically don't need crits, right? You can just attack twice. Which is frankly better than crits because unless they can dodge or have high dodge you're guaranteed to get the hit whereas with crits you're not guaranteed that extra damage at all oh that is actually I may have been making a rash decision also we can't inflict stormed anyway so oh but if we put this if we were to put this trinket on Anastas uh, frick we passed on the we passed on the what was it staff rod whatever that allowed us to use elect or yeah cast the thunders no not thunder thunder is the sound the lightning spell <clears throat> since we passed on that it makes no sense to get this because we have no way to afflict a target with stormed But it would be perfect for her if we did have it. Unfortunately, we only got one item out of that <coughs> frankly difficult fight. So I think we go with this one for Hamlet. Hey, I realized his name without needing to look at it. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for us today. Our next path takes us into violence. Which is not really good because everyone is missing like 25% of their health. Hopefully they are nowhere near as tough as they were. Because oh boy that was... We nearly lost that fight. Also Anastas somehow has the most armor out of everyone. That has to change. These two need to have higher armor. Anyway, as I said, we're done here for today. There will be another episode tomorrow, so feel free to come back. 
and uh, I was going to say subscribe, but I, frankly, a lot of people have been subscribing, so I'm, I'm grateful to you guys. I know I haven't mentioned it, those of you who are actually watching this, but I appreciate that. It really helps give me the will to go on because uh, I'm just sitting in my I'm just sitting in a room talking to myself. So thanks, really. And so, with all that said, we will see you next time. You see?